Hey guys, Shadow Spinner here. Today I'm doing another little movie review. I'm going to do a review for I Know What You Did Last Summer. Um, this is a 1997 horror movie. It's a very 90s movie. Um, it was The screenplay was written by the same guy who wrote the screenplay for Scream, but that's not what made me want to watch it. Actually, I've um, been on vacation to Southport, which is where the movie takes place, and um, so I'm kind of interested to see what that was all about. I thought that was kind of cool, because I recognized a lot of the places in the movie, because I'd actually been there. So that was kind of neat. Um, so yeah, the movie is about a group of friends, four, four people, yeah, four friends, and they um, are graduating from high school, they're all going off to college, and so on the last, I think it's the last um, day of school or something, I don't know, whatever, but they're driving, and um, the one guy who's driving is not paying attention or whatever, and they end up running into this guy on the road, and they start freaking out because they, they're pretty sure he's dead, and they're like, oh my gosh, this is going to ruin our lives, I mean, basically it's involuntary manslaughter or whatever, so yeah, that's not good, so they decide to um, just dump the body in a lake and not tell anybody about what happened, um, actually, I guess this would have happened last day of summer, maybe, because I know they did last summer. Okay, sorry, that was stupid. I just realized that. Duh. So, anyway, moving back to the plot. So, they dump the body, but right before they dump the body, the guy's hand moves up. And so, he's actually still alive. So, um, it's during the next year, and the friends all end up coming back to Southport, where they were living. They'd all gone up to their separate colleges or doing whatever, their own separate thing. And they kind of lost touch. And so they all end up coming back together, and they all end up getting these mysterious notes that say, I know what you did last summer. And so they know that someone knows. And so they're trying to find out who it is, while at the same time they're being stalked by the guy they killed. So, yeah, that's the basic plot. It's actually a pretty good plot for a horror movie. I was actually really shocked because most slasher films, this is a slasher film, is... They're not very good. I mean, just because the main point of slasher films is for you to watch people get slashed. So that would actually explain why I'm not a big fan of slasher films. I don't... I prefer a plot in my movies. <laughs> I mean, I know some people out there are just gore junkies or whatever, but I actually like plot in my movies, so I decided to check this one out, and also, like I said, because of Southport. But, um, the plot is pretty good. It actually has some really good twists in there. I was kind of surprised. They're actually good twists. Not these really stupid ones where you saw coming like five minutes ago where it's so convoluted that you can't even believe it. So the twists in here are pretty good. So yeah, the plot is actually decent for a slasher flick. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about with that. The plot was really great. Um, casting. Um, this movie has uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Um, I think that's Ryan Felipe. I already say his last name. Sarah Michelle Gellar from Buffy, and, um, Freddie Prince Jr. Um, the acting is really good in this movie. Um, everybody's really well known, of course. They did that on purpose. They kind of, I think the casting directors probably picked out the hottest young stars in Hollywood and just slapped them in here. But everybody I really enjoyed except for Ryan Felipe. I don't know if it was his fault or if the director told him to do this, but his character is so unlikable that whenever something happens to him, you don't even care. I mean, he's just a jerk. Like, there, he has no redeeming values whatsoever. I mean, there might be, like, one moment where you're kind of like, oh, that was nice. But for the most part, he's just a big jerk. Nobody likes him. I mean, I guess his, friend, his friends don't even really seem to like him that much, except for Sarah Michelle Gellar's character. That's because she's dating him. So I don't really know what... That they were going for with that. He's just a weirdo. So, yeah. Other than that, the characters are likable. The acting is really good. And so, yeah, acting is pretty good. I mean, it's not spectacular. Like, you're not going to walk away and still be thinking about one person's performance over all the others in a year or two. I mean, they were good. They were good for a slasher movie. They were more than just pretty faces. They actually did their job and acted. But, like I said, it's nothing that you haven't seen before. Um... The music in this is also not that great, I have to say. 
Um, it's just kind of generic music. They put a lot of this, like, popular 90s songs in there, so when you watch it now, it's, it's pretty dated, honestly. Um, at least in my opinion. It just, it wasn't that great anyway. The songs in there that were in there weren't even that fabulous to begin with. But the fact that they're really just insanely 90s made it worse. So I wasn't very pleased with the music. It kind of didn't fill with the atmosphere at all of the movie. They had all this like random 90s rock music playing or whatever. That was kind of weird. Um, I guess I have to talk about how scary this movie is because it is a horror movie. I have to say this movie is pretty scary. Um, I mean, it's not so scary that you're going to be up awake at night thinking about it. But um, while you're watching, there's some pretty good jump scenes. You know, you're waiting and you know something's going to happen, or you don't even know, and all of a sudden you're just like, whoa, what was that? Like, it's pretty good that way. Um, so yeah, scary while you're watching it kind of movie. You're not going to be terrified of it for the rest of your life and scared to go driving at night because you might run over somebody or something. Um, yeah, so that was, that's pretty good. I mean, if you don't want to be terrified, but if you're looking for something to really scare you, I wouldn't suggest this movie. Um, I guess I have to talk about how violent this movie is. <laughs> um, it is violent. It has, it's, it has a few scenes that are violent, more so than others, like one or two. But the, the rest of it is mostly just this guy right here, down there in the red, stalking these people. Um, <laughs> there are a couple of scenes that are just kind of gross. But it's not as bad as a lot of horror movies. It's not as bad. For a slasher flick, like, it's not all about the slashing. It's more, in my opinion at least, about the plot and finding out what's going on. I think they just put the violence in there to make it a slasher flick because that was pretty big. Like like I said, the guy who wrote the screenplay for this wrote the screenplay for Scream, which is a slasher flick also. It's very popular. It was really popular when this movie came out, and that's why they made this movie. Um, they actually went back and added in most of the gore scenes after the initial filming because they wanted to make it gorier. So the whole intent of this film is not to be disgusting or disturbing. It's more just supposed to be scary. <laughs> so yeah, I did enjoy the scary elements of it. I like the acting. I like the location, like I said, because it was cool because I'd been there and I'd be like, oh yeah, I remember that place or whatever. Um, yeah, so that was, the location was good. Music was not very good. The acting was mediocre. Um, I really think that's all I can say about this movie. I mean, it's just one of those movies that you watch to say you watched it. Like, this is kind of, I think it's one of the more famous slasher flicks. I'm not a big fan of slasher flicks, honestly, but um, I like a lot of the actors in this. So, I mean, it's just kind of a take it or leave it kind of thing. If you think you'd enjoy it, I would check it out. But if you aren't a fan of horror movies or slasher flicks, don't watch it. If you like mysteries, you might like it also. Because, like I said, it is more of a mystery than a horror movie. They're more trying to find out what's going on and who this guy is that's trying to get them back for what they did last summer. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I give it three out of five stars. Because I enjoyed it. I had fun watching it. But I wouldn't go on recommending it to people. It's not my favorite movie I ever saw. For sure. So, five, um, three out of five. And uh, thanks for watching. I actually meant to have this up a while ago. But uh, I've got some more that I'm going to do in a couple minutes. I'll probably upload those after this one. So, thank you for watching. If you want to check out the other ones, I think I'm probably going to do a review for um, Halloween next. So, if you want to check that out, it would be great. Thanks.